everybody, my name is Jennifer Maker. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make a veil face mask on the great maker show and tell. So having a variety of different face masks is a really great thing, especially when they're stylish alternatives to the traditional fitted face mask that a lot of us are used to. In the past week, I've designed a neck gaiter face mask and a scarf face mask, but I may be most excited about this new light and cool veil style mask that I just made. It's really been hot lately, and this veil face mask is a lot more comfortable in the heat. It keeps your, face, your neck free for air to circulate and even provides a little sun protection, which I love. And I really, really like how it fits on the face thanks to the little dart at the very top, and you can even add a filter pocket on the back, you can see here, if you want. So it's really a pretty effective mask. Now to make the veil style mask, I recommend that you use 100% cotton fabric, uh, such as this quilting cotton, or batik cotton, like I've used on this one here. Either way, I recommend that you use a different color for the inner layer, and for the outer layer, so that you always know which side is which and you don't accidentally put the inner layer, or yeah, the outer layer against your face, right? Now I have a teal blue batik on cotton on the outside here and a yellow lemon lime cotton fabric on the inside. The optional filter pocket right here, I made from a really soft interlock knit because I prefer the feel of that against my mouth instead of just regular cotton but you can just use the regular cotton if you like. It's really a personal preference. Uh, so for the ear loops, you can e use either one quarter inch elastic like I did on this side, or just a strip of stretchy t-shirt material, so knit material, that you pulled into a cord like I did on this side. It's your choice. I recommend that you match them though. <laughs> I will show you how to do both types of ear loops in this tutorial. Now, in addition to your fabric, you're gonna need a way to cut it out, right? So you can use uh, scissors or a rotary blade cutter. You can even use a Cricut cutting machine. You'll also want a way to keep everything together so it stays, it stays together, right? So you can use a sewing machine or a needle and thread. I think that those two work best, but if you don't have those, fabric adhesive glue will work in a pinch if you don't sew. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to sew the veil face mask using a sewing machine. It's really very easy and it's a great beginner project uh, if you're just learning how to sew. I really recommend this. If you've ever wanted to learn how to sew, this is a great time to do it. Lots of face masks to be made. So are you ready to make this? Let me show you where to find the free pattern for this veil mask and then I'm going to show you step by step how to sew this beautiful light and airy face mask in less than 15 minutes. Step 1. Get my free veil face mask pattern. You can download the veil face mask pattern from my blog at jennifermaker.com slash veil face mask pattern. Once you're there, just go to the red bar near the top and look for Libraries. Then either click Get a Password if you don't yet have one, or click Enter the Library. You can find the pattern by searching the page for Veil, V-E-I-L. Just click the link that you find to download the file and unzip it to access the files. My free veil style face mask pattern comes in several formats. You can get a printable PDF for cutting by hand or an SVG cut file for cutting with a Cricut or another cutting machine. Here's what the veil face mask printable PDF pattern looks like when it's all printed out. If you prefer to cut this out with your cutting machine, here's what the veil face mask SVG cut file looks like once you've uploaded it to Cricut Design Space. The first set of patterns in green are for youth and the second set of patterns in red are for adults. If you're not sure how to upload an SVG cut file to Cricut Design Space, watch my video training series at jennifermaker.com svgs. Step two, cut out your veil face mask pattern pieces from fabric. I recommend you use two different colors and or patterns of fabric to make your veil face mask. That way you always know which side is the outside and which is the inside. You don't want to accidentally put the outside layer of the face mask against your mouth. 
For this tutorial, I'm using a blue batik 100% cotton fabric as the outside layer and a yellow citrus lemon lime pattern cotton fabric as the inside, inside layer. Be sure to pay attention to the fabric grain and pattern direction noted on the printed pattern when you cut out your patterns. If you're cutting out the veil face mask pattern by hand, just print out the printable PDF, put it all together, cut out each pattern piece as directed, and use it to cut your fabric. Note that your fabric is folded in half before cutting the mask and filter layers. Be sure to line up the point noted on the pattern where it says fold to the actual fold in your fabric when you're placing your pattern piece on your fabric before you cut it. I'm using DIY pattern weights to hold my pattern in place while I cut my fabric. You can get the tutorial to make these yourself at jennifermaker.com slash DIY pattern weights. If you decide to cut ear loops instead of using elastic, these need to be cut from stretchy knit cotton, like interlock cotton or even an old t-shirt. Be sure to cut two layers of cotton fabric for your veil face mask. If you need help cutting your fabric on a Cricut, check out my tutorial at jennifermaker.com slash Cricut fabric. Step three, make an optional filter pocket. If you want to add the filter pocket to your veil face mask, cut out a piece of fabric with the filter pocket pattern that I included in my files. I used a 100% cotton knit fabric for this pocket because it's soft and I prefer that against my face, plus it doesn't fray, but you could also just use 100% cotton fabric like quilting cotton instead, it's your choice. Now put the filter pocket on top of the inside layer of your veil face mask with the top edge of the filter pocket half an inch from the top edge of the veil. Make sure the wrong side of your filter pocket is against the right side of your inner layer and then pin in place. Sew the filter pocket to the inside layer of your veil face mask along the two side edges and along the bottom edge at a one quarter inch seam allowance using a straight stitch. Be sure to leave the top opening, that's the side closest to the top edge open because that's where you would insert your filter if you wanted to use one. And also be sure to do a back stitch at the start and end of your sewing to keep your pocket secure. Step four, sew the dart tops and bottoms together. Now fold the inner layer of your veil face mask in half with the right sides together and stitch the dart at the top closed with a 3 8 of an inch seam allowance, just like I'm doing here. And then repeat with the outer layer. So you wanna uh, sew that little section at the top of each of those layers closed. Clip the end of both dart seams so that the seam allowance can fold flat, just like I'm doing here. Place your inner layer on top of the outer layer for your veil face mask. Make sure the right sides, that's the sides with the designs on them if you have any, are facing each other. If you added a pocket in step three, your pocket side should be facing the right side of your outer layer. Now pin everything in place. Sew these two layers along the top edge, that's the edge with the dart, and along the bottom edge, but do not sew up the two sides yet. This is really important. Notch and clip the curves seam, the curved seams, for a smoother look, just like I'm doing here. Just be careful not to cut into any of the stitches. Uh, when you uh, notch, which really means just like cut a little V like I'm doing here, or clip, it'll help the seam lie flat when you fold it uh, right side out. Now, just turn the veil mask right side out.
press the veil face mask along both the top and bottom seams so they're nice and crisp. And if you wanted to add a nose wire, this would be the time to do it. You just put in a three to four inch wire, bend the ends in, and then put uh, that wire in between the two layers at the top of the darts and sew around it to keep it in place. I opted not to add the nose wire in mine because I felt the dart was more than enough for me personally, but you're welcome to add that nose wire if you'd like. Step five, add the ear loops to your veil face mask. Fold both the raw edges on the side of the veil ma mask into themselves about three eighths of an inch and pin in place. Now cut two ear loops that are five and a half inches long each. You can cut these from three, uh, from one quarter inch elastic, or you can cut a, a strip from knit fabric and stretch it out the long way to create a stretchy band that works like elastic. Um, that strip would be five and a half inches and there's a pattern for that in my files. Now position one end of your ear loop at the top of the face mask side about three eighths of an inch into that folded seam and pin in place. And put the other end of that ear loop about two and a half inches down on the side of that fail face mask, also about three eighths of an inch into the folded seam and then pin it in place as well. Now repeat with the ear loop on either on the other side of your face mask. For this tutorial, I did one ear loop with elastic and one with the knit strip just so I could compare. And it, it turns out I preferred the knit strip because I thought it was more comfortable. But I recommend that you do either two elastic uh, loops or two knit strip loops so they match. Now you just sew all around the entire edge of your veil face mask with a straight stitch and you are finished. Congratulations, you have made an easy and cool veil face mask. Try it on and see how it looks. Isn't this just so cool? This face mask is so simple, yet so comfortable. Greg tried it on just like one day when he was in my room and he's asked me to make him one because it fits his beard so well. I think this is a, the perfect face mask for hot and humid weather too. And I just love that it gives me a little sun protection here on the front, just like this. So if you've been looking for more face mask styles, I have uh, six different patterns to choose from and they're all free. Um, in addition to the fitted mask, I have, and the veil mask, I have uh, the no sew mask for those who don't wanna sew. I have my cool scarf mask, I love this one. And I have a new mask that I um, made so that it has it's all one piece on their front and it's perfect for decorating with safe iron-on vinyl or infusible ink. Watch my channel, watch my channel for video tutorials on all of these face masks and how to put them all together. And please show me your face masks. I love seeing what you make. You can post them in our sewing circle at jennifermaker.com slash sewing group or in my Cricut group at jennifermaker.com slash Cricut crafters. Everyone is welcome, and the folks in the both of these groups are really, really awesome. This is a great place to ask questions and get help too. And if you don't yet have a Cricut cutting machine but would like one, you can win one in my monthly Cricut giveaway. Um, enter over at jennifermaker.com slash Cricut giveaway. I do it every month, and it's actually a lot of fun to do, in fact. So thank you for watching, and until next time, this is Jennifer Maker reminding you to craft a life you love. Mm -hmm.